critical. Uh, how important? Well, we don't know yet. We'll know a lot more maybe tonight. Certainly a lot more after the Pennsylvania vote as well, right? Yeah, you know, I, I kind of take a different approach uh, to all of this. I, I know the the horse race is, you know, looking at these individuals that Trump has endorsed and, you know, whether they win or lose. In the main, knowing Trump uh, as I do, it doesn't matter whether they win or lose. Yeah, he doesn't like the stain of a loss, but even in a loss, it's a win for him. Because it then allows him to parrot, you know, to to fall back to his base, and 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 then he becomes a factor, much more of a factor in the general election. So from Trump's calculation, this is all win because a we're talking about him, right? B he's got these candidates groveling to him, you know, Mooney crossing state lines just to be on the stage with with Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. Um, C the establishment still has no clue what to do, so they capitulate and buckle. So where does Trump lose in any of this? And that's that is the most damning aspect of all of this of this of this political season and going forward for the GOP. Mitch McConnell, like many uh, Republicans in Washington who still speak in hushed tones when Donald Trump's name comes up, are frustrated as hell about the fact that the, you've got these candidates winning these primaries that are likely going to. Put, Go down to defeat in in particularly close races in places like Pennsylvania and Arizona and Georgia uh, that become much more problematic for the longer term effort of trying to get back the House and the Senate to set up 2024 a little bit better.